Hey YouTube, thanks for watching everybody. I just had a quick thought and I wanted to capitalize on it and get a video out of it um, while I was thinking about it. So what I was thinking about is when I started in the hobby, one of the first things that I ever had a question about was, you know, should I use carbon? Is it good? Is it not good? I remember not knowing where to turn for that information. So what I ended up doing is I drove about 45 minutes away to the local fish store in my area and I specifically sought out a guy named Chuck. Chuck was the go-to guy at the local fish store. He still is, he's a great guy. So you know, I go in and I specifically find Chuck to find out the answers, you know, fish related questions that I had. So I was thinking all that effort to find one answer that I was looking for, you know, I had to go find the local fish store guy. And just thinking about it, I realize now how, how different that is in the hobby. Now if I have a question, I post a video just like this and people from around the world will chime in in a matter of minutes to help me out. People from, you know, I'm from the U.S., people from down in Texas, people from California, people from Asia, people from Australia, people from the U.K., people from Canada, people from Mexico. And it's just mind-blowing to think the amount of information that's available to you now and the amount of people that are there, you know, at a snap of your fingers that are willing to help you out. And it just kind of blows my mind again when I was thinking about it. Five years ago, I'm driving 50 minutes to find a guy named Chuck to get an answer in a local fish store. Now I have a question, I pull out the phone, I pop a video in, submit it to YouTube. I've got answers coming in from around the world in a matter of minutes. When I started the hobby, I didn't really know anyone else in the hobby. Now if you look through my phone, I'm texting people from Texas, I'm emailing people from different continents. I'm getting messages from people in Australia. And it just, you know, it, I didn't take time to think about that until just now when I was, I was thinking about something else and it just occurred to me, the circle of people that I knew in the hobby when I started and the circle of people that I know now and that I, you know, communicate with via YouTube is just astonishing to me. Going from just a few small number of people locally to, to help me out and you know find them to help me out and now like I said I'll post this video up and I'll probably have comments from around the world in 10 minutes so just think about that guys next time you're posting up a video think about 10 years ago five years ago if that topic came to your mind what would you have done with it if you weren't on YouTube it probably would have gone nowhere if you had a tip it probably wouldn't have been able to help anybody out if you had a question, it may have went unanswered unless you specifically went, you know, to a local fish store or a big box shop if you had a chance or if you happen to know someone personally. So, again, uh, that was a very poorly planned video here, but it was something that, that came to mind and I just wanted to express my feelings on that. So next time you post a, put a video up, just think about how times have changed and, um, you know, what you're able to do with the information that you have now. Thanks, guys.